Contingency Plan Code, Nemesis, Subject, Green Goblin. Norman Osborne was once a respected businessman and scientist, co-founding Oscorp Industries. His transformation into the Green Goblin began when he experimented with an experimental serum, hoping to enhance his mental and physical capabilities. The serum worked, but at a cost. It granted him superhuman strength, speed, agility, and a regenerative healing factor, putting him on par with Spider-Man. However, it also shattered his mind, amplifying his darker impulses and plunging him into insanity. His arsenal is extensive and deadly. The Goblin Glider is a personal aircraft equipped with advanced weaponry. His signature pumpkin bombs are explosive devices with various effects, incendiary, smoke, gas, and even electromagnetic pulses. Osborne's razor bats are flying blades capable of slicing through most materials. Additionally, he has incorporated an electrical discharge into his suit, allowing him to electrocute enemies with a touch. Osborne's psychological profile is as dangerous as his physical abilities. The serum that gave him his powers also exacerbated his existing narcissism and paranoia. His pride is immense, and he refuses to admit failure, even when it leads to his downfall. His obsession with proving his superiority, especially over Spider-Man, drives him to extremes, often making him his own worst enemy. This is a man who will sacrifice everything, including his sanity, to achieve his goals. For the contingency plan, I'll be using the Stealth Bat Suit, a suit designed for high agility and equipped with sonic disruptors. While Osborne is gliding, the sonic pulses will destabilize his goblin glider, disrupting its flight pattern and forcing him to the ground where he's more vulnerable. I'll also deploy bat drones outfitted with sonic emitters. These drones will swarm the goblin, emitting chaotic frequencies to disorient him mid-air, making it nearly impossible for him to maintain control over his glider. At the right moment, I'll use an instant magnet maker, a compact device that, when placed on any metallic surface, creates a powerful magnetic field. Given that most of Osborne's gadgets, including his glider, are metallic, this will pin him down, trapping him against a metallic structure, rendering his mobility useless. Additionally, given Osborne's penchant for chemical warfare, I'll have my rebreather on at all times. This rebreather is designed to filter out the hallucinogenic gases Osborne favors, ensuring I remain clear-headed even if he resorts to his toxic arsenal. Lastly, I'll equip rocket boots for enhanced aerial maneuverability. These will allow me to match the goblin's flight capabilities, dodging his attacks while staying in striking range. The boots provide precise control, enabling me to navigate through his barrage of projectiles with ease. This is a man who thrives on control and chaos. By stripping him of both, I'll leave him with nothing but his madness. And that's when he'll make the fatal mistake.